What's good, everybody? I hope everybody had a great weekend. We are here to do your week ahead readings, okay? So we're gonna um, look into the energies that you're gonna you're gonna probably face this week. So if you haven't picked your card, make sure you choose your card. The cards and the timestamps for these cards are down below in the description box, okay? Also, don't forget to show me some love, like, share, subs uh, subscribe. Also, if these uh, readings resonate, make sure to check out my Patreon page. The link for that is down below, okay? Um, also, don't remember, not every detail of these readings are going to resonate, but if you're drawn to a card or if you're drawn to a pile, um, uh, there's probably a message in there for you, okay? So make sure you stick around and check that out. Also, um, I think I said everything I need to say. Okay, well, let's just get started. So if you chose card number one, you got the wishing card. Now this card talks about um, your wishes, your prayers, whatever that you've been hoping for is coming. But it's also reminding you that your wish might require a lot of uh, dedication on your part. So you know this is asking you are you ready to take on what's about to what you've wished for that's why it's always important to be careful what you wish for because sometimes um we don't we're not ready for for the energy that that it brings and then when i was pulling these cards excuse me <clears throat> when i was pulling these cards the chaos card came out with it and this talks about um seeking shelter if 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 there's chaos going on around you, it's important for you to withdraw. If you're not part of that, the drama that's going on, or if you don't need to be, it's important to pull out of, of that situation. If you are part of the chaos that's going on, you, you know, you might have to, you might have to clean up some messes, but this is connected with your wish. So I, the way I'm taking it is more like, Good things are coming and other people are trying to bring chaos in your life because they see that that's coming for you too, okay? So that's the overall energy that you're, you're going to be dealing with this week, okay? So let's jump into this with the tarot and check the overall energies in work, love, and home. And we'll see how, all, how your overall energy, how that fits into it, okay? So what's the energy that you're going to be facing at work this week? What is the energy at work? Energy at work, please, for uh, card number, for pile number one, number one. Um, nope. Energy for work. Um, energy for work. Energy for work. We have the energy for work. Um, we have the high priestess. And then we have the... The nine of swords or nine of swords nine of wands um so this is talking about when it's coming to when it's talking about your energy for work um it's important to keep boundaries and keep secret what it is that you're doing okay R remember this this is because whatever you're you're doing that you know keep the secrets of what you're doing at work um put up those boundaries because somebody sees that you have good things coming in, something that you've been wishing for, you've been working towards, and they want to bring chaos. That's why it's important to keep up those boundaries when it comes to your work, okay? So let's look at the energy in love. And then we have, we have the energy in love. We have the Empress. So the Empress talks about abundance and fertility, and if this is, this has to do, well, this is love, so they can, okay, yeah, so energy and love, they see you as very fertile, like you can, you know, they want to maybe have babies with you, with the King of Wands, and then we have the Knight of wands but this this came out in reverse so it could be that this this person is it might be a player um yeah because that, that was a knight of wands in reverse sexually ex, uh sexual excess impulsivity 
So be careful. If if somebody, the energy and love, somebody might come come to you and want to get you pregnant. But this person is somebody who's very sexually promiscuous. What else can you tell us about this person? Mm. This page of page of cups. This could be somebody who's very immature. What else can you tell us about this person? Too many, too many, too many. Okay, this person sees that you're growing, growing your abundance. And so they want, they want to have a new, you know, they're, they're going to come back and say, I've learned my lessons. I've um, changed my ways. Um, and they might want to come back, but you're just like, nah, I'm good. So you might end that. Take a chance and, and wait for something, wait for something else because you, you know, this person, um, you're taking the chance somewhere else because you know nothing's coming in with with this person. But they they yeah they see you as as very abundant. Like you're working towards um, uh, material and financial abundance, and so they want to they want to come back in. But you you you're making that judgment call, and you're like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna walk away. I'm just gonna walk away. Okay. That's the energy and love. Okay, guys. Let's check the energy at home. What's the energy like at home, in your home life? This can surround your family, just your home, home life. We have the moon in reverse. So secrets were illuminated. Let's see, what's the moon in reverse? What's the moon in reverse? Oh, shit. It's too many. I'm not keeping all these. Too, too many. Too many cards. So we're looking at the secrets that are that are being illuminated at home. Sorry, guys. What are the energies that are illuminated at home? What is this uh, moon in reverse? Secrets revealed. Somebody could have gotten a message in their dream. We got the full. Okay, so the secrets that might be revealed is like some someone taking a new chance and with this. more into this. Now we got the world in reverse. So unfinished lessons. So, so okay, so this is energy at home. Um you could be like um secrets revealed. Without taking a chance somewhere else you, you're going somewhere else because um you're starting to realize that you know this situation um the person that you're dealing with has not learned their lessons um you might see this person as arrogant what is this star in the world in reverse it's a star in the world in reverse so somebody could have been a star in the world in reverse. The star in the world in reverse. Um, we got the judgment, getting clarity. Oh, it's about getting clarity about a relationship. Um, like balance is coming back in because these secrets balance is coming back in because these secrets were revealed so this in the home home energy um it doesn't have to be somebody that is directly in your home but it could have been a you know a, 
the past issue in your home that's coming back up so that way you can get the clarity yeah because we got you know these two cards talk about clarity and then with the judgment card not only are you getting clarity but you're making a judgment call on this situation that is going to bring in balance because there was imbalance when it came to this home and love situation there was something you didn't know that was going on and now this person is coming back in like kind of arrogant thinking oh this person might take me back um, I've learned my lessons I've learned my lessons um, take a chance on me and and you're like nope nope I know what you bring I know what you bring and I know who you are you really this person's only only coming back because they see that you have your you know whatever you've been working on your you know your wish fulfillment is coming in and this person comes in like this wanting to give this to you and you're like nah I'm good thank you <laughs> all right let's see what your advice is all right guys what is your advice when it comes to this situation the energies that they're gonna have to face this week what is the advice for group number one you're gonna have victory in your work you're gonna have victory in whatever it is that you've been building so it's Okay, where are we at? <laughs> you're gonna have victory in what you're doing, what you're building. What else can you tell us? What is the advice for this group? What is the advice for this group? What is the advice for this group, please? What advice do you have for this group? What advice do you have for this group? Um, when you because you have this clarity, you're going to be able to, 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 um, um, grow this, like the roots are going to start taking, uh, taking what you're growing is going to start taking root because you've had this clarity. Um, because before you were feeling unfulfilled, um, you were feeling almost like you kind of felt sorry for the person that that you're getting clarity on and it kind of I want to say it kind of kind of kept you connected in a sense so much that whatever you were trying to build um, or they're trying I want to say they're trying to keep it because they're trying to bring in chaos they're trying to hold keep you from walking away and they want to bring conflict in your life so um this is just like saying no thank you i'm not i'm good i don't i don't want this so you're gonna get clarity and you're gonna know that this isn't something that you're gonna be able to make that decision you know that this person doesn't bring anything but chaos and lack in your life okay what's the final advice for this group Make the decision to stay focused on what it is that you're trying to learn because that's going to bring you, um, that's going to bring in this completion, this, um, this is the wheel. It's going to bring you good fortune in love too. And then we got the Knight of Pentacles. It's slow and steady, steady building this, whatever it is that you're building. It's, it's, you know, it's brick by brick almost, you know, it takes time. Um, but it's it's something that you've been wishing for and and it's there's a need for you to uh, keep strong boundaries with people who just want to bring chaos if they're bringing chaos the best thing you can do is withdraw okay don't 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 get soaked and um, battered in this storm the best thing you can do is withdraw from that situation okay all right guys I hope this helped um, don't forget to check out my Patreon page. That uh, link is down below. 
Um, the content that I put on Patreon is different than the content that I put on YouTube, okay? So make sure you check that stuff out, okay? All right, guys, we're going to uh, go on to the next. All right, group number two, if you chose the summon card, this is your reading. Um, the summon card. This card talks about creating a spiritual ritual um, so that you can, that way you can, can connect. There's a need for you to connect before you make any forward movement um and then it also says like to get to choose another card to get a little bit more understanding of if you're asking about something important okay so this the, before before i show you the next card that i pulled it you know it's it's talking about don't take the next step lightly okay um you are encouraged to um you are encouraged to to meditate to to get real understanding of what it is that you're trying to seek clarity on before making a movement okay so the next card we got is the understanding card so the understanding card needing to um it says try to get outside of yourself and imagine what it is like to walk in someone else's shoes to understand is to have power so these two are connected and there's a, a move that you need to make uh, to move forward, but before you make that move, you're very powerful, and you have the power to to create whatever energy you are are you are manifesting in. So if you're in a place of manifestation where you're really angry and and you're misunderstanding someone, you're not having compassion, you're not really comprehending what what happened. I, um, like I said, it you know, it's easy. It's it's easy to make decisions and, and judgment calls when when it's something that we've read or or you know or heard. Um, but to truly understand <clears throat> someone and something, there's there's power in that. So much power that you can create whatever energy you're sitting in so it's important to be understanding with people okay before you start creating so this car this is telling you in this week ahead the important thing to do is to fall back maybe do some meditation some reflecting before moving forward um and and trying in that meditative state try to understand someone or something okay you will know what that is all right guys let's jump into this we're gonna look at the energy for work uh, energy for love and energy surrounding your home life okay so right now with the three of swords and the five of cups don't make any moves because right now you're working through something okay what is uh the energy surrounding work energy surrounding work we got the hierophant so needing to really reflect understand before making a move forward because um in work there might be some sneakiness going on what is the seven of swords? Some like there this could be like a fast talking person who's you know what is this? Okay. Um The sneakiness, somebody somebody could have gotten caught for being reckless and, and cruel with their words. Somebody could have gotten caught at work. Somebody was sneaky. So the energy surrounding work is that is that there was some sneakiness going on, some betrayal, some, you know, theft or I'm taking it more as somebody could have been uh, cruel and and reckless with how they spoke about another person and they're getting caught now so what else can you tell us about this what does this group number two need to know about this 
Um, okay, so what do you need to know about this? Um, I got the eight of, eight of Wands and the Page of Pentacles, or Page of Cups. <sighs> Communication of a. Okay, so. <laughs> okay. So, how did they get caught? How did they, how did these people get caught, right? It was like this, this is a studious kid. The, the page of pentacles, or page of pentacles, the page of cups is a studious, um, is a studious kid who, who loves to volunteer, who loves to, you know, they, they're, they're just a very sweet giving person. Okay. So this could, this person could have communicated something and brought total honesty. Um, and this was, these were secrets that were hidden. And this is energy surrounding work. So I don't know if it's you communicating the, the truth or if you were the one who was um, uh, doing, you know, it's sitting in this energy of, of being reckless and cruel with your words. Lying, probably. So, you know, communication is going to come in. Total honesty about what's been going on from this page of cups and, and you know these secrets are going to be revealed oh okay what else does group number one need to know when it comes to work what is their advice and the queen of swords so someone who's who's the person who's who's speaking the truth could, like i said it could have been that page of cups the the person that's speaking you know being uh speaking truth right being honest um this person could have been having a lot of uh burdens but that's coming to an end because this person made the decision to bring balance into the situation by bringing justice how did they bring justice by speaking the truth and because of that they're gonna have oh, god. oh my god look at this if i can grab them okay look at that we have this the three of cups celebration king of pentacles someone who's financially stable the uh, Nine of Pentacles talks about um, self-sufficiency, luxury, uh, like single, like single, um, will of fortune in the sun. I mean, total happiness. Good things are coming because this person decided to speak truth, made the decision to speak truth. Um, this person could have been very burdened, but that's coming to an end when it comes to your work. That's good, guys. All right. Um, let's see what the energy surrounding your love life is right now. Okay. So, again, um, going back to these two, when it, when we were talking about work, um, you're speaking, you're, you're, you're being honest, you're speaking truth, right? But when you when you do that it's important for you to be understanding and not just to shoot off at the mouth but to really know what you're saying and come from a place of understanding and compassion okay because if you're not if you if you go at it and start speaking from that low vibrational energy you're gonna manifest something that you really don't want to create in your life okay so it's important for you to have understanding all right so let's look into your love the energy surrounding love. Energy surrounding love. Energy surrounding love. Energy surrounding love. What does group number two need to know about the energy surrounding love? Alright, guys. Alright, so the first card we got is the uh, High Priestess. So this is talking about secrets. Um, then we have the judgment in reverse and then we have the two of swords in reverse um judgment in reverse 
secrets um, secrets that you might have gotten light of um, you could be in denial about that And then we got the Two of Swords in reverse. This is confusion, indecision, um, needing to make a compromise, but you, you can't make that compromise. You can't make that, you know, um, well, I don't know if you want to compromise, but you're not, I'm just going to say confusion, confusion and indecision, because you have, you, you've gotten, you know, Secrets have been illuminated to you and you're 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 in denial so you're not able to you're you're confused. What is, let's let's look into this and see what the secrets are. And then we got this. The seven of swords, five of swords, tower, lovers, hangman, not sure. What should I do? But there's sneakiness going on. Sneakiness and someone got caught and it caused a tower moment in your life. When it came to you, the lovers. Yeah, somebody was cheating. Somebody was cheating. What's the night? Night of Wands. Night of Wands. Oh. <clears throat> night of Wands. What is this? The cheater, right? This person had lots of options. <clears throat> Um, this Knight of Wands, this, this cheater, this person that got caught, that was doing sneaky stuff, um, oh, this person could have just love coming back and saying, I'm sorry, will you take my cup of love? Because they see this person as like, um, they're they're moving towards really good stuff and they want to offer a, a cup their cup of love but you're like nah you you're like is this someone else is this someone else like why are you in denial i want to know why you're in denial is this someone else that they offered this to and they said no I, I I just I don't know I kind of got lost in that. Um, why are you in denial? You're in denial. Um, you got the world. You're in denial. You um, unfinished lesson. This talks about an unfinished lesson. Um, where you've lost direction. You've lost direction. You've lost direction in your life when it comes to this love situation. And you because you keep getting lost because you keep you you're refusing to learn these lessons and that's why you you stay in the situation. You have to put down the burdens. This person is juggling you and if this person is juggling you, you need to move away from that. You've already got clarity about this other person that they want to they want to move towards. They might even want to marry this person. So why why stay in a situation that you're not you're not fulfilled in? Okay. What is the advice for this group when it comes to love? We got three people. We got the King of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the Emperor. We got three people. And then we got the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So this is like one-sided. You, you, you're staying in a situation where someone's giving too much to someone else and not enough to you. You know what I mean? You give to them, give to them, they don't give to you. While they're over there giving to someone else, giving to someone else. It's not balanced. This is what you need to know. 
So you need strength. You need strength to, to have the victory. What do you need to do? What do you need to do? What is your advice? Cut them out. Cut them out. It might be it might be painful and sad to do it. But the secrets that you are getting clarity on is that this person had toxic behaviors. This person had toxic behaviors. All right, guys. Whew. All right, so that's what you have to work through this week. That's a lot, guys. You have a lot to work through. And that's just in work and love. And we haven't even gotten to home yet. So let's get home overall home energies. We got the seven of wands. Like having to really stand your ground. Why are you having to stand your ground? Why are you having to stand your ground? This is self-defense. Defending yourself against others. What are you defending yourself against? You're standing, you're standing up for yourself saying, yo, like, this juggling that you're doing has me feeling, you know, I can't sleep at night. You have, you know, I'm suffering all kinds of anxiety when, when you're my partner, why you're my partner, but we're having all this, all this conflict and now these secrets come to light. I got to move away. I got to move away because if not, I'm going to be stuck in this situation. And you want to go after you. You're making the decision to go after something that you find more fulfilling. So you're going to need to stand your ground. Stand your ground when it comes to this home situation. Take your time to really understand the other person. Don't just get so angry, but really try to understand where they're coming from. Understand the person that wants to get away. Understand why. Understand why this situation. Because if re if a relationship falls apart, you know, there was lessons in this that needed to be learned. Okay, and it could be that, and it could also be that someone's co continuing to learn their lessons and evolve and grow, and and then you have another person who doesn't want to do that, and they so they outgrow their partner. So, you know, and when you, when, when that happens, you know, that's when, when people tend to find somebody who's more at their level and it doesn't, well, I don't want to say that it has anything to do. Um, it, I'm not trying to talk down on the person who, who is getting left behind, but we're always as, as people, we're always growing and evolving. And if you don't want to grow, then someone might be left behind. And there's a need for both parties to be um, to understand where one another is and to come from a place of love and understanding before you try to create something else so if you're trying to get out of a relationship you have to be um, do it end it in a in a, a loving and caring and understanding way communicate clearly before you try to create something uh, new because you don't want to you don't want to you don't want to create from a place of anger and we've got the, the magician at the bottom with the four swords and the hermit and then the, the ace of pentacles. So really needing to take that time to, to, um, quiet your mind, quiet your, you know, the noise from around you before you create really, you know, take that time before you create, because you don't want to create from a place of stress, anxiety, fear, you know, okay. You know, yeah, you don't want to create anything from that energy, okay? So let's get some final advice, and then I'll let you guys go. Any final advice for this group? Okay. Um, yeah, I was going to say, don't let your sadness... Don't let your sadness and your, um, the lack of imbalance in, in your life to, to dictate how you create. Okay. Do it from a place of, 
strength and not, you know, the need to come in and argue. I don't know if that makes sense, guys. All right, guys. Let me get one more card for you guys. I don't, I don't know if I, I hope this helped. I hope this helped, but so I'm so I apologize if I'm coming off kind of spacey. Yeah, um, be careful because your anxiety will will cause you to create something that does not bring you happiness. Okay, so really take the time to um, come from a place of understanding, forgiveness, love, compassion before creating. Because if you if you create from that energy, that's the energy you're going to create for yourself. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I hope this helped. Um, don't forget to share, like, subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out my Patreon page. Um, the content that I put on Patreon is different than the content that I put on, on YouTube. So definitely check that out, okay? All right, guys. All right. Pile number three. If you guys chose the invisible card, this is your week ahead reading. So this card is talking about the overall energy of what it is that you're going to have to face this week. Also, we're going to look into your work, love, and home. But this is the overall energy, okay? So when when the invisible card pops up, it's it, it talks about there may be a feeling like you don't fit in, um, that people don't understand you, people don't get you, you know? But what it's saying is that what's important is, you know, not everybody has the capacity to see you fully for who you are. Everybody's going through their own issues in life that they're so caught up in their own life that they're, they don't have the ability to see you fully. And so it, it leaves you feeling invisible. Like, you know, do people even care that I'm here? Do people even notice me? But it's also talking about, <clears throat> okay, so that's one, one interpretation. But the other, uh, another meaning behind this card could be that it's time for you to fall back. That it's, it, it, it would benefit you at this time to be in the shadows. Okay, so it could be one or the other. So we'll, we'll, we're going to look into the overall energy in your work, love, and home and see what this card is um, trying to tell you, okay? Um... All right, guys, let's see. So let's look into the energy surrounding work. Energy surrounding work. Energy surrounding work. There could be a lot of conflict and you could feel trapped in that situation. You're trying to make a decision. So what's the energy surrounding work? We got the Knight of Wands. I, the Knight of Wands, I always see someone, this is like my cruelty card. Um, somebody who likes to argue, likes to fight, likes to bring, likes to bring chaos. This is somebody who's very um, impulsive. What else? We got the Two of Wands, needing to make a decision. And then we got the Three of Cups, so... Waiting for a result. And then waiting for a result in celebrations. In like community celebrations. So what's this Knight of Wands? Okay. Oh my God. What's the Knight of Wands? There's a lot that fell out, so I'm just going to keep it. The Knight of Wands is, you know, remember I said this is somebody who's, um, who likes to fight, argue, who's someone who's very cruel. Yeah, they like to bring conflict. So you're trying to make this decision. What's this decision? This choice. What's this Two of Wands? We got the Five of Cups, Two of Swords. the Empress in reverse. So this uh, waiting for results or, or making a choice 
about um, so arguments. You're trying to you. You should I cut this out? Should I cut this out or? And then we got the Empress in reverse. So the Empress in reverse is, you know, again, um, someone who's unstable. And this is at work. So somebody is wanting to cut out this person. Yeah, this person is, this person is a fast talking person. They, um, ugh. They, they could have been part of your friend group, your friend circle. And so that's why you're trying you're 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 trying to make the decision, should I cut this person out? Because this is part of your friend friend group in at work. But this person is very mean, very cruel. Okay. What else can you tell us about their work situation? There's deception. There's um dishonesty there's dishonesty in a like a new beginning someone's saying oh we're gonna have this this fortune that we're gonna you know things are gonna go in our favor but there's dishonesty oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh my god oh my god <laughs> okay there's cards all stuck to it and i'll show you them in a minute um there's there 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 might be an opportunity for financial abundance in this in this you know work situation but somebody wants the dishonesty is that yeah you're gonna make all the money and I'm gonna take it and that's gonna leave you disappointed so but the divine is watching over you the divine is watching over you this is a warning okay in your work week ahead for work what is your advice I think we got your advice. Um, what is your advice? What is your advice? What is your advice? Make the decision um, to cut this person out. <coughs> it might be painful. But you need to do that if you want to be successful in your in your um, career, because this person is putting on a show. They're like, you know, it, it's not. It's it's a you know it's like a. I I see it as like they're just putting on a show. They're faking the funk because there's dishonesty. There's this there's dishonesty. So spirit saying you know you know you need to you need to make that. You got the clarity. Now, now you need to make that judgment call to end this situation. It could be with the, you know, somebody that, you know, like I said, is part of your friend circle. Somebody that very, you know, you might even <clears throat> find very attractive. <laughs> but it's, you need to end that. <clears throat> All right. So that was work. Oh, my God, guys. Let's look into love. What's the energy surrounding love? Energy surrounding love. We got the Six of Cups. Nostalgia. Innocence. Putting on a show. <laughs> what is the Six of Cups? This person. If this person is involved in your work, this person could be somebody who's trying to steal from you. They're putting on the show. Oh, I love you. I care about you. But they're, they're, they, 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 I don't want to say they don't. They just, well, if you love somebody, you're not going to do this. You're not going to behave this way. You don't do that to people you care about. Okay. This person could have lots of options and they are trying to make the, the like take a chance wherever it is that they're going to get the most financial abundance. This person, all they care about is money. This is a person you're dealing with in love. So what else does this group need to know about love for the upcoming week? It's too many. Yeah. Too many. I'm not taking all those. 
What does this person need to know about for the week ahead when it comes to love? What do you need to know? When <laughs> okay. The person that needs to know is this King of Pentacles. You need to know the truth. That this person, really, all they want is your money. They're, they're going to take your money, and then they're going to give you the bare minimum. All they want is the money. So what is your advice? End it. Your advice for love this week. All right, guys. Let's look into your home life. Let's check the energy you're surrounding your home. Let's check the energy surrounding the home for group number three. What is the energy surrounding home for group number three? some that fell in the first the only one that flipped over was the four of wands this is the home card um this empress in the home life is feeling very burdened it could be like a child that needs you know you, you know you got to pay for tuition or you got to buy clothes or the kid needs something but it, they're feeling very burdened because they have a lot of you know financial burdens right now okay and then we got the king of swords honesty about the conflict honesty speaking truth about conflict that's going on in the home or the struggle the the challenge speaking truth about the challenges that they are having when it comes to um, their finances this is the energy at home. Okay. What are these challenges? The challenge is money, money, money frustration. Somebody could be taking your money. And we have the tower. What's this? Okay. Okay, so okay, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So you're having uh, financial struggles. You're, you're in it, it, it. Something could have happened that just like kind of if it, it fell all on on you, and it just it was one of those moments. But spirits here to say you're gonna you're gonna, with justice. Justice talks about balance, right? Balancing the scales. So whatever conflict, whatever challenges you were facing that had a lot of burdens, um, you could add somebody who was just draining you financially. So what it's saying is balance is going to be restored in your finance, uh, in your finances, in your work. Judgment is, is, is coming in for you. Do you see how everything's connected, you know? If you're not happy at home, it's going to affect your love, your work. If you're not happy at work, it's going to affect your love, your home. Everything is connected. So it's important to find balance and, you know, work on one area where is is, you know, one area at a time. And as you're learning, you learn how to deal with other people. So as you're learning in your home how to balance these energies, you can take that and, and apply it to your relationships and apply it to your workplace. But there's a need for you to start learning how to find that balance because right now everything is, you know, chaotic. Everything, you know, and everything is, um, everything is connected. Okay. All right. So what's, um, what else does group three need to know about home life? The Hierophant. So the Hierophant talks about marriage, tradition, um, conventional expectations, breaking free from that. Breaking free from that. If they're like, this is how things have to be. This is how things have always been. And this is how things, you're going to continue to do things. Break free from that. Because that is keeping you in a state of depression. Like, it's not aligned to who you are. What else does this group need to know about? We got the two of swords. So cutting it out. Cutting it out. Going within. Getting that, that's, that clarity that you need to um, 
and it might it might leave it might it might feel like you rejecting this might leave you feeling alone and isolated but the truth is it's going to bring you uh, your wish fulfillment and abundance by breaking free but remember it's 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 getting that clarity that you need to 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 uh to be able to reject this to cut it out and you know once you cut it out you're cutting out this depression this sadness you know it's okay to say you know what i don't doesn't uh, tradition's cool i'm not you know i'm a traditional person but at the same time um, I'm not going to follow tradition that keeps me feeling like this. And so rejecting it, the people are going to be like, well, you, you know, you're on your own now because you, you, you want to reject us. You're on, you're on your own. And so that keeps you in a state of confusion. Should I, should I not? Should I, should I not? So there's a need for you to get. Okay. So once you get the clarity, um, you'll be able to make the decisions that you need to make, um, to move forward. Okay. Yeah, needing to cut that out. All right, guys, let's get some final advice before I let you guys go. Um, we got the Seven of, of Swords. So this is talking about um, getting caught, making amends, somebody uh, feeling stuck. Okay. Okay, so making amends so you can get unstuck, um, needing to do that so you can uh, chase after your wish fulfillment, okay? Needing to move away to, to go after your happy. And that's going to end this cycle and start a new cycle for you, okay? So this is your energy surrounding your home. Your home. All right, let's see if there's any final advice. Final advice. Um, final advice. Break free. Break free from... from the people that make you feel um, like break free from the bullies um, when it comes to this invisible card um, it's it it talks about uh, you know people aren't gonna aren't going to really understand you fully and when people don't understand you understand you you're going to need to break free from these people and find your own people, people who do get you. And that could be painful because these could, this is family. This is your, you know, your, your, your partner, your, you know, your people that you have to cut out. And, and that doesn't mean that you don't love them. That just means that you have to love them from far away. You know, that, you know, those painful, it, those endings are painful having to walk away. So it's okay guys um if you're feeling invisible right now because the people around you aren't getting getting you understanding you they just don't you know they don't get you it's okay um when you walk away from the people who don't get you it's because those are people who i hate to say it you have outgrown so those people are not going to understand you. Those people are not going to get you. So it's okay to walk away from that, okay? You are seen. You are loved. It's just you're, you're not feeling that way because it's not from the people that you're expecting it to be from. But you are. It's a, it's a, This card is here to say, you know, you are loved and I do see you, okay? Spirit sees you and Spirit is guiding you and loving you every step of the way. So when you're feeling alone and you're feeling like nobody gets you, nobody sees you, just know that's how it's meant, to, that's how it's supposed to happen. It's necessary, okay? All right, guys, don't forget that you guys are loved and I hope this helped. I hope this helped for the week ahead. These are tough energies to work through in the, in the upcoming week. But we'll check in next week and see how you guys are holding up. All right, guys, good luck. And again, you can always reach out. I do personals. Check out my Patreon page. Um, I say that on every video, even though these videos are, are most likely for Patreon and they won't even go to YouTube. But the, the content that I put on YouTube is different than the content that I put um, on Patreon. So, yeah. All right, guys. I hope you guys have a great week. Stay strong. You are loved. And we'll see you guys next week.